Now, you can actually aim with the red outserts on, but it makes it a bit harder than usual. So let me take those off, and we'll see how the mask does without the red outserts on. So, in answer to the question when people have asked me, you know, about various masks and shooting, the S10 is actually surprisingly good for looking down the rifle scope. Now, I imagine that's because it was designed so you could use it with SUSAT rifle scopes on the L85s. Um, even with the outsets on, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, so, just to give you a quick idea, I've got the air rifle inside. Um, when I was filming that, the police helicopter started hovering suspiciously overhead, which is a bit of a pain in the ass because it means I have to wait uh, with the video for them to uh, leave, so they're not going over the camera when I'm trying to talk to it. But regardless, um, yes, the S10 works well. Let's just get that back on. As I said before, S10 very nice and easy to get on and do a pressure check with. Now this is unloaded because I've made people freak out about that. But yeah, I can look through the scope surprisingly easily using the regular um, eyepieces. Get a fairly decent cheek cloud like that and look through the scope. Of course it's not the easiest thing in the world as you'd imagine, but it's still possible to get a cheek cloud and mostly see down the scope. The cherry red outserts don't get in the way all that much, because with outserts I expected they would, but let's pop this outsert off. And then, yeah, it's even easier without the outsert on. I mean, that is lovely. Uh, next to the HMS, H, SHMS, this is probably my best mask for looking down a scope with. Or maybe the other Soviet masks would also compare, but yeah, surprisingly easy to do this. Now, let me now switch this to um, the air rifle to the other air rifle uh, with iron sights on just to demonstrate this with iron sights. Okay, so here it is with the um, BSA Hornet. Very nice, cheap, um, just 2 2 Springer, but with a uh, you know iron sight on. And let's get the cheek weld. Yeah, very nice and easy. I can see that and squeeze the trigger absolutely fine. There we go, that's the cheek weld. Now let me just do a pressure check. Yeah, when I'm cheek welding and I do a pressure check, the mask is still sealed properly. Obviously a problem with some respirators, if you try and uh, do a cheek weld, you might push the mask away from your face and break the seal. Not a problem with the S10. As I've said before, what I love about the S10 is it's kind of got the flat bit of the lens where the eye is, which makes it very easy to actually look through scopes and optics properly. So. Yep, you simply get the mask on, tilt your head, get your cheek weld, and you can see both the iron sight and the mask is still airtight. So, yep, big thumbs up as usual for the S10. I know you'll call me an S10 fanboy, but I don't see what's wrong really of being a fanboy of something that works properly, you know. My only real complaint of the S10 is that the drinking tube pokes me in the side of my cheek when it's not in use. Um, now, again, like most drinking tubes and masks, it's not brilliant. It's kind of hard to manipulate into the mouth. There we go, but still. Overall, the S10 is very, very good. Now, at some point, I'll do the same test with a GSR. Because remember, the GSR firing trials had to be abandoned because soldiers couldn't get a good sight picture through the mask. So, that's going to be interesting trying to hit a small, well, relatively small target. 
in the video, some of the time I was shooting on my wood back shooting board, but other times I was shooting a catalogue, which is a few inches across, you know, either way. Not a tiny target, but it was kind of interesting just to do it with the S10 on. But yeah, there we go. The S10 is certainly very good when it comes to uh, iron sights and scopes.